So we have our website working within Netlify and we have all of the bare bones elements to make our Netlify CMS work. The last stage is to really kick it into gear is to actually turn on Netlify CMS. So what I'm gonna do is in the site overview under site settings, if I scroll down looking for a word called identity. And in there, I'm gonna enable the identity to start working. And by default, it's working, but it's not quite. We have to enable one more piece of it all. Towards the bottom, if I scroll down the page, come on, come on, I'm looking for services and enable the Git gateway. What's gonna happen is it's gonna say, all right, we got a Git gateway going on, sweet. Now I actually wanna invite myself to actually use this service. I'm gonna go up to integrations and up there I'm gonna to go to identity and it's all set to go. So in here, I'm gonna invite myself. I will use info at a designer who codes .com to invite myself. And if I save that, what I should do if I pull open my email, hey, check it out. You have been invited to Netlify CMS and Gatsby and Netlify F, accept the invite. When I click on this, what should come up is complete your signup. I'm gonna add a password. And in here, I'm gonna finish my signup. Come on, come on, it's thinking. Thinking really hard, there it goes. You know what, I think I didn't spell collections right. So if I head back to my config file, I have collection foiled by an S. Oh my gosh, one little letter. Let's kick it back into gear and try it again. Git add star, git commit. I will say typo because that's what it was. Git push origin main. Oh man, I love coding sometimes because literally a letter S just foiled the whole entire thing. I must have property collections and I had property collection. So we're gonna head back to Netlify, site overview, it is still building and we should be good to go. If we scroll down the page, we should have had finished processing, perfect. Now I'm gonna do is head back over here and refresh the page. And now literally the letter S stopped me in my tracks. As we can see here, travel packages, Las Vegas, Lima, Peru, and Venice. So let's add a new travel package. So I'm gonna head over to unsplash.com. Let me go to unsplash. And in here, let's grab New York City. New York City for a photo. And let's find a horizontal one. This is a pretty rad photograph. We're gonna download this picture for right now. And off to the side, I'll go grab it in a second. I'm gonna add a new travel packages. So this location is gonna be New York, New York. The travel dates, what, what the heck? Let's bring everyone in on December 31st, 2023. And it's gonna to run to January 15th, 2024. So in here we have our New York, New York. I'm not worried about the preview. I'm just gonna hide it for right now. I'm just focused on these areas for the most part. What I wanna do is now is that featured image. I'm gonna go find the featured picture, which I have in my downloads folder. It looks, let me bring it over here. So my downloads folder, I'm gonna then grab it and I'm gonna say New York for the file name. And I'll say choose an image. And what we're gonna do is upload a picture in my downloads folder, grab the New York. And just like that, I have New York, which is fine. I'm gonna choose the selected. And in here, I'm just gonna say, let's go to New York and save. If I publish this and I publish now, it will upload that picture. It was a pretty big picture at 4.6 meg. So it's gonna take a few seconds to upload this file and the entry is saved. Now here's the magical part. If we head back over to our deploy log and deploys, it's now building that create travel packages map and all that wonderful information right there. It's gonna rebuild my project. It does take a few minutes. So while this is going on, we have to think about that our Netlify and our GitHub are different than our project right here. 
So what I have to do is since I'm working on this project, I have to say git pull origin main. What that's gonna do is it's gonna pull that picture down and now it's gonna say New York is now there. And if I go and take a look again on my project while this is building on the background, the content travel packages, now there is a map location. Oh, we gotta fix that little piece of that long area right there. We're just gonna fix this one area. Whoa, that's a long one. So when going through the Netlify CMS configuration options, I was looking for the slug that I messed up on because the slug is really important. And the slug type does dictate how the markdown file does show. Now I did use the correct term where I did use the slug, but I forgot one critical juncture in here. And that is I have to have the word title for the first area to create the safe slug. Unfortunately, I didn't do that. I went right into location. So what I have to do is a couple of things. I realized this was a mistake that I made. I have to go back and fix it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the name from location to title. I'm gonna call this one location title now, and now the slug will work. However, we have to fix everything else that's attached to the word title. Under Venice, I'm gonna change the word from location to, ooh, that's a weird spelling, to title. I'm then gonna to go to Lima, Peru. Let's also save, save, save Las Vegas. And then also, since I do have everything, make sure if I do a git pull, we're actually all okay there, that I do wanna get rid of this New York part two to make sure it's working again. So I'll just remove that. And now since we have the word title, I'm gonna go into the index and change the word location to the word title to make sure it's all working. Let's go up here from location to the word title. Let's do a Gatsby develop to make sure this is still working successfully on my computer. Double check it all. And yep, it's gonna give me that warning message, no problem at all. Again, I used a previous version of the actual plugin which works successfully, yet gives me an error message on occasion. So if I head back over to Chrome, let me go find my project, refresh the page, and there's Las Vegas, Lima, and Venice. What I want to do is I wanna go into my project now and make sure that it's now updated successfully. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this project and git add and git commit and fix file and git push origin main oiled by one word of title. Man, so close. So if I head back, let me double check this, make sure it's working. Fresh the page and deploy log and this should work fine. Now, if we go into our folder of images, we should have that New York picture sitting there. So if I go to static and images, there's Las Vegas, Lima, New York is right there in our folder. How about that? Pretty nice. So once this finishes building, I'm gonna refresh the actual content manager. Let me just go out of this for a second. Wait for this to refresh one more time. I did delete the New York manually, so it's gonna go away. And hopefully with the word title, we should be working successfully. Again, the error message that I did have was in the actual config file, the word slug dictates the word title. So it makes a nice safe slug based upon the title. In this case, we had the title of, well, Venice or New York. So far, it's going live. So let's head our content manager, refresh the page. Perfect, I got rid of New York for a second. I'm gonna bring that back in. I'm gonna say new travel package. So I'm gonna say New York. Travel dates, again, we'll go December, 31st, 2024 to January 10th, 2025, the future. Choose an image, we already have our New York picture. And we'll say this information is all about New York. And if I publish and save that, now what we should get, all right, entry saved, what I should get now, 
There we go. Create travel packages, New York, new dash York. So what I should have, if I then do a git pull origin main, that that file came in. And now what I have is of course the New York picture is there still. And now the content travel packages. And now I have is New York. And what it should do is once it finishes building, so give it a second to finish up here. Again, I'm not worried about the plugins. Just think about when you do publish content, it takes about a minute to go through. All of my deploys have taken 50 seconds, 40 seconds, 48 seconds. So it does take a little bit of time, but I published the 228. It's probably take about a minute or two left. If not, it should be deploying. Perfect, sites live. So now if I come over here to Netlify CMS and refresh the page, we should see that Las Vegas, Lima, Peru, Venice, and New York are in position with the picture. So there's two things I wanna fix up though, and that's because Las Vegas and New York and Lima and Venice, it's all out of alphabetical order, and I also wanna create some space within the two areas at the top and bottom right here.